Congratulations on the win. What were your thoughts on the match? I thought um, obviously nice to get three points is, is always the main thing, but um, I thought we were patchy. Um, I thought in moments we, we played really well and I thought in other moments we kind of lost some structure and some shape. And um, The nice thing about the game for me is just the character, to, to go back to 1-1 one, one and then for the boys to find something again within that group. Um, like I keep saying, there's a real uh, resilience, there's a real belief growing in that dressing room and there's a real togetherness and I think uh, that was definitely on show tonight. Stoked for you just to watch what went down. Yeah, look, very happy for happy for the team. If I'm honest, just the collective, you know, Tags is a he's a part of the the jigsaw puzzle, and it's nice to see um, to see it come together. Um, our medical team, our physios have been working really hard, you know, trying to get him in in shape to play and uh, like a mini preseason for him. Uh, they've done a fantastic job, and I think you know he's still a long way off uh, being anywhere near his best, but. The one thing you get with Tags is goals, and uh, he knows how to deliver when the moment arrives. And then the bloke could probably go under the radar now since he set up over the goals as well. What can you tell us about him? I've known Dowsey um, a very long time. I coached him for a, a few years at Broadmeadow Magic in the NPL there, and um, he's a kid who, you know, came to the training ground and basically walked in and, you know, with tears in his eyes basically said oh can I get a training session you know he had left the Jets program and uh, he wanted to come with us and you know of course you know we're an NPL club we say yes and uh, from the very first day you could see he had a, an unbelievable left foot and a real a good attitude about a real humbleness to him and um, yeah he's been through a hell of a lot he's had three knee reconstructions and for him to be uh, delivering on that stage I um, mean that fashion just is a testament one to his quality but also his character so yeah really happy for him. And back on tag, when do you think he'll be at We will take um, take it slow and steady, and, and always look towards you know the long term plan, you know not just for him but also the team. It's going to take time for him to understand our processes and, and train more with the team, and um, and obviously for him to build fitness. So look, we go away to Wellington now. Hopefully he recovers well and trains well, and then he can play a part again there. But we'll just have to play that a little bit by year and make sure that we you know keep a long term view on it. For me, I make um, a big deal with tags. Like he's someone again. He's someone that I know really well. Um, I've seen him at the peak of his powers when I was at Newcastle, and I was a, I was a skipper there, and he was a young, you know, the young pup that rocked up and, and got the golden boot. And uh, I know what he's capable of. Um, for tags, it's always about you know his mentality to want to do you know the simple things well and and to defend you know and lead from the front and be a good uh, a good leader in that front. I think the the nice thing I've seen in tags over the last, you know, since I've known him over the last 10 years or so, is he's grown a lot as a person and um, he knows what he's capable of, but he always puts the team first. And so he's the right character for us uh, to, to spearhead this rebuild. Slim Khalifi Ruben, how's he holding up? He looked like he barely missed the beat in his first game back. And, uh, was it his ankle he came off with? Yeah, foot injury. I'm not sure. I haven't spoke to the medical team yet about you know exactly what it is or, or how serious it is. Um, but again, you know, a professional performance from Salim. That's that's him to a T. He's very. Um, he looks after himself very well on the training pitch and makes sure that he uh, ticks every box. So I'm sure that you know if he has a chance of being there next week, he'll be there. What did you make of Bruno Pomeroli's game, first game back in Perth, and uh, it was like Mark Beavers and Daryl Lachman had a pretty good game against him. Were able to contain him after the first. Now. To be honest, my focus was just on us and, and how we were set up and what we were doing. I think um, at times we, we defended well as a team, um, as a collective, and I thought at other times, like I said earlier, we lost a little bit of shape and a bit of structure, but uh, we were patchy, but the, the process is clear and so I'm um, you know, really focused on what we're doing and, and keeping that improvement mindset where we want to get better and better each week and, and with every game. And um, At the moment, the boys are really sinking their teeth into that philosophy and um, you know, it was nice to see. Yeah, we had a plan. We had a plan um, like we do every week. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, you know, tonight we had a plan that, that we thought we could expose um, victory in certain areas, and I thought we did that at times. Again, probably not enough for my liking. I think we can be better in, in some moments. Um, but yeah, it was. It, there were still some really positive, um, 
some positive play in that final third and it's something that like it's been a work in progress something that we spoke about early on in, in the season that we really needed to improve and um, the guys have been working really hard on the training pitch and I think it's evident I didn't actually see the incident and I haven't watched it back yet so it's hard for me to, to pass comment all I'll say is I spoke to, to my player and he said that I think the other player, I think it was Iconomedes, I think it was, lashed out and kicked him in the chest or tried to kick him in the chest and, and Cliz reacted and pushed him but he said he didn't do too much so I'm not sure. I didn't see, first of all, what Chris did, Chris Iconomedes did and I didn't really see what Cliz's reaction other than pushing him over so I'll have to watch it back and it is what it is. Now we just have to deal with it. Losing one of our starting players, it certainly does uh, affect um, our plans but we've been very... Um, in-house we've been very you know focused on making it a collective and that, and that the people that are behind the ones that are starting know their jobs and I think over this period this run of home games you've seen a lot of bodies come on at different times in different positions and uh, they're executing well so that's a that's a nice positive for us and one man's loss is another man's gain and I'm sure there's someone working really hard that wants to start in that spot so we'll just you know get back on the training pitch see how everyone recovers and then pick what we think's best for Wellington. It's like I say. It's nice when a plan plan comes, um, you know, comes to fruition. Um, I I look beyond the goals and the moments a little bit. Obviously, I'm happy for those players and happy for the team. You know, in those moments, I, I tend to look at the effort areas of of the ones that maybe la laid the platform. I thought, you know, Dave Williams is someone who's worked really, really hard to get himself fit, and uh, he's leading the line. I thought Ryan Williams' energy tonight was really good. I think some of the boys that started laid the platform for our subs to come on and make a difference, and obviously. Uh, you know, at home we have the extra man in terms of the crowd and our fans and our members again were fantastic tonight and they kind of drive the team forward so um, it's something we won't have next week and uh, we'll have to find that resolve and that uh, focus within the group that whoever is playing you know, the ones that start lay the platform for the ones that come on and make sure everyone contributes so it's something we've been focusing on and, and I'm proud of the boys for that tonight. A couple of weeks ago when we were here you spoke, we spoke about how deep is that when you had a, a goal lead against the third goal tonight came from the opposite, where Jacob Dez pressed and pressed the ball, he first got the defensive line a bit higher. Is that more pleasing for you, obviously, as a coach, to get that third goal from a high press rather than sitting deep with the lead? Yeah, I thought, I thought we pressed well. Um in moments during the game, I thought we did it early on. Uh, we pressed well in the first half and then had stages where obviously, you know, when a team like Victory has quality, they, they force you back as well. It's not just about us wanting to drop back. It's sometimes a, a case of, you know, their shape and their, their tactics are, are being imposed onto ours. And so there's that to and fro between who's on top. I thought we had the better of the game tonight. I thought we pressed well. It's something that we want to do at home. We want to get our fans um, involved in the game. And the best way to do that is to get on the front foot and show that real strong mentality. I thought we did that tonight. Um, again, I think out of context, the game that we're talking about last week, was obviously in the run of four games in 12 days or whatever it is. So sometimes fatigue's a factor. It was nice to have a week to prepare, and I think it showed. Last one for me. Transfers towards the end of January. There's been rumours of uh, Jordan Elsie maybe coming in from Newcastle. Is there anything else? Look, I've, I've been pretty clear. I've wanted to you know, keep making uh, additions to the squad um, every chance that we get. You know, I, I still think we're a long way off you know, where we want this club to be and um, where we want the side to be. Um, we can definitely do with a few additions if we get the right players and the right characters um, for this build. Um, and um, we're going to look to do that. We're, we've been through so much as a club and a group uh, with what we've had to face on the road last year and over the last couple of seasons and even early on in this season, that some of those uncontrollables we we don't give much attention and focus to. We just, you know, worry about the way, the style of play, and the process of how we want to play and how we want to improve. And we just want to get on the front foot and win as many games as we can. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks,